Hey everybody, how's it going? I'm Seth and welcome back to another video, folks. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to create an ISO file for Windows 10. Now, for me, of course, this is a part of a mini series, and of course, the aim of the game of this mini series is to create a virtual machine or a virtual computer. The reason I want to do that is because with a virtual computer, you can do all sorts of tests and experiments, and you can break it because you will always have an original image of what the computer looked like and it is safe you can break it as many times as you want first things first we want to go into the official windows 10 uh website so this is what we're looking for right there I want to make sure that the link is correct and it is one that leads to microsoft windows so we want to download the tool this will take a wee while now as i was saying the download here of course as you can see once it's ready just double click on it and we start running the tool to create the iso file of course an iso file is a virtual copy of a operating system basically a virtual disk if you want to call it that and with that you can load it in any iso program and run it as a virtual uh, disk or of course you can write it on to an actual disk now we are running the program here it will take a while to get all of the information. I may end up having to speed up certain sections of this video because it does take a while to actually create the bootable disk. And that is what we want. Now, I'm going to run you through this um, program that uh, Microsoft uses and, of course, um, how to use it, how to set it up and kind of talk you through the option. First things first, we need to accept the license agreement and stuff like that. So we're going to crack on with that. Um, now, the reason I want to create a virtual machine is because I want to do some tests. And of course, I want to try a couple of things. So if I do break the virtual machine or the operating system on the virtual machine, I can always revert it back to a previous snapshot. So a snapshot in a virtual machine means that you have saved that state. And no matter how badly you break it, you can just revert back to that. And it's all as good as you had that snapshot so basically once i'm done i will of course uh save a snapshot so we want to create a virtual machine we're going to look at these right here so we're going to uncheck this box here you can see that we have several uh, options for the architecture you can choose one or the other or even both i'm going to run the 64-bit option because that is what i am interested in most computers will be able to accept that we get asked if we want it as a flash drive which we don't and of course the other option is an iso file so as i said a virtual disk so we're going to go with the iso file of course it's going to ask us where we want to save the iso file now i'm going to save it in a directory that i have specifically made for this so this will be the operating system itself that we are making a ISO file of. And uh, from now on, this will take quite a while. Um, I am going to speed it up. Uh, I think it takes about overall, I'd say 30 to 40 minutes. Uh, sometimes it can be a bit less if you have a really good internet connection. Uh, as you can see, uh, we are moving forwards, just not at a great pace. So unfortunately it is what it is um we just have to wait it out so get some popcorn get your netflix or uh, your favorite netflix shows out and just wait it out as this may take a couple of minutes um with that being said and done i think from this point forward i will speed up the video Okay, so we are at 99%. We are going to move on to the next step. So uh, we just wait this one out. This normally doesn't take that long, but we'll see how it goes. But once we do have this completed, we should have ourselves a virtual disk 
copy of this particular operating system. I think if you want, you can get um, later versions, so or earlier versions. I think that sounds better. So you can get like Windows 7 or 8 if you want to do that, both in ISO file. It is the exact same procedure as well. Uh, it's up to you what operating system you want to play around with if you're going to use it for the purposes of a virtual machine, which is what I am doing. And so right now, as you can see, it is basically compiling the ISO file once it's downloaded all the programs that are needed. So normally this doesn't take too long. In my case, of course, I do have quite a, I'd say, powerful computer. So it should be able to compile all those files and pretty much set it up for me. I think what took the longest was, of course, the download itself, which is what I sped up. As you can see, we are at 37%. Now, this, as I said, is going to be a part of of a mini series i'm going to create a virtual machine for myself i'm going to be trying out different things on it of course there are multiple reasons i want one but there is actually a main reason that i am creating a virtual machine i'm not going to say what it is but if you guys know what i'm after what i'm aiming for uh, especially those that are familiar with the channel uh you know what? i'm gonna let you guys guess do you know what let's let's have you guys guessing what you think i'm going to be doing with the virtual machine primarily and i say primarily but it's not just going to be that i'm going to do multiple things on it but i do have like i said a plan for it so i want you guys to pretty much put down your thoughts on what you think i am going to be using this for let's see how many people get it right anyways we are waiting for this to compile sometimes it can take a bit uh for me i think right now i've been waiting for this to take place for about what i'd say 20 30 minutes something like that so just to kind of give you a, a bit of scale on how long it can take now of course if you do have a better internet speed and a good performant computer this can be reduced but it still will take time for this to happen once it is finished then there it is you will have your own iso file of the operating system that you chose to download and uh yeah then you can either burn it onto a disc or of course uh have it on a flash drive and use that to boot systems or create new or install new fresh copies of the operating system all right we are at 92 percent not long to go this one to be fairly honest is not all that complicated i think the most difficult part of it is just having to wait it out so that's why i'd say probably get some popcorn get some drinks watch a show maybe two and uh yeah after that you will have your iso file but as you can see i'm not really done all that much after i uh chose how i wanted the iso file uh the setup window kind of does it pretty much itself once it's finished it will basically give me the option to open up a dvd burner or see the file and uh in the yeah the file in the folder that i selected it so i'll show you what it looks like and uh there we are here is our windows iso file ready to go all we need to do is load it up into a virtual drive and uh, as you can see, this is the size of the operating system itself or the disk. So you do need, I'd say, around five gigs of space for this. That is pretty much it for this video, folks. I'm going to leave it here. Join me in the next video where I will be showing you how to create a virtual machine, what software to use and where to download it from, as well as how to fully set it up so that you can use it. Of course, we're going to be using this particular ISO file. Until then, stay safe, folks.